this next lesson we're going to talk about opacity and alpha channels in kind of photo based textures in Maya. So we're going to work off of an AI standard shader for this one. So in this particular case I just created a flat plane. Uh, you can see there's a plane there. If I turn off uh, hardware texturing you'll see I just have a flat white plane. Uh, but when I turn that hardware texturing back on you'll see I've basically applied an image and just to kind of show you what this file looks like we have the original maple leaf image here which was a JPEG and then I created a black and white version of it to turn it into a bump map that's why it has that little bumpy texture to it and then I created an alpha version of that which is basically just a white copy of it with a black outline on it right so it's really easy to do this stuff in Photoshop uh, particularly if you have an image like this um, that already has a white background you can use color range or if you want to be fancy, you can kind of go around the whole thing with a pen tool. I'm not going to show all those processes in Photoshop right now, um, but you could make a selection off of it that way. Um, actually, you know what? I will show it to you in Photoshop because I happen to have the original Photoshop file that I created. So let's just take a look. So if I open this up in Photoshop, I'll get rid of this learn panel. Actually, let me change this workspace back to my graphics. There we go. Let's get this back to somewhat normal. Um, and if I go and look in here, boy, my Photoshop updated, so there we go. Let's bring in paths. You'll see I actually outline this guy uh, with a pen tool. And when you outline, like basically I sat there and took my pen tool and, you know, drew my shapes all the way around this object, blah, 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 until I finished it off and, and closed it off in the end. Um, I'm going to do undo all that. go to history back to the open there we go and once you create a successful path like that if you command click or control click on it it'll turn it into a selection which is really handy right uh, and that allows me to basically fill this area I could fill it with any color I want um, I actually I have to go back to my layers but I could create a layer then and fill it with whatever color I want. And if I do Command Shift I or Control Shift I, um, I can invert the selection, and I can fill that with white, or I can fill that with black, which is what we want in this particular case. So it's really easy. Um, again, Command Shift I, select white. Now I have that alpha channel version. Whatever is white will stay opaque, and whatever is black will become transparent when we set this up the right way. So. Photoshop can be really handy. You'll see there's that black and white version. There's my bump map version. All I did for the bump map was take my full color. I went to image mode and grayscale. Don't merge, discard, uh, and convert it. And actually a better way to do that so that you can maintain your color information in one file but also have black and white is just go to image and adjust hue saturation. And I can take that layer and just take out all the saturation and it'll turn it black and white. And then I can go back to image and adjust uh, brightness and contrast, and I can bump all of that up as much as I want to. So, you know, you get the preference of how bumpy of a bump map you want. So anyway, all from one file, I can create a bump map, a displacement map, an alpha channel, and uh, save them all out as JPEGs and then load them in after the fact. So that's what I have here. I have my displacement file. I have a, a more contrasty one. I have my alpha channel version right there. Uh, I have one that has like a soft edge and one that has a sharp edge uh, and then I've got the original color. So all I did was come in here and I have my file. Uh, I placed a, if I click on this guy you'll see I have loaded in the original image to put that actually on the plane. And then when I go back out um, you just come down to geometry on an AI standard shader. So, you know, we all know base, specular transmission, the base is off of the color where I put that original image. And then I just scroll down to geometry and open that up. And that's where I was able to put my bump map in. You see there's the bump map folder I was able to bring up and load a bump map. And then if I go back out again, oh, let me go back out. There we go. Uh, there's the opacity as well, just above the bump map, and this is where I loaded the alpha channel. So really simple to get these set up. Um, again, this is where I just came and loaded the alpha channel, and uh, as soon as you turn on that hardware shading, hardware texturing, 
you're going to be able um, to see the object. Now, there was one thing in the preview, in your Arnold preview. Um, there's under renderer here and the viewport two settings. You have to click on this. And I had to make sure that I changed this to transparency algorithm. If it was back to simple, see how it like you just see the black background. Um, so make sure you change that to alpha cut and in your preview you'll actually see that which is you know definitely important I'll always see it in the render view so if I come into here there we go this guy obviously needs a little bit of rendering done to it a little bit more light to it um, but you'll all be always be able to see that no problem at all uh, but if you want to see it in your viewport that was again under viewport settings change your viewport settings to alpha cut but yeah it's a really nice simple way to be able to create some transparency from an image versus me having to like model this whole leaf out um, I could have taken like a pen tool and you know outlined it and extruded it uh, but another quick way to do that is with an alpha channel so nice to know different ways to do transparencies um, yeah and I think that's uh, that's about it it's short and sweet thank you